Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where we bring you all the latest and greatest in the world of movies. Today, we're counting down the top 10 action movies of 2022 that you definitely don't want to miss. From heart-pounding thrillers to jaw-dropping stunts, this list has got it all. So grab your popcorn and get ready for some serious movie magic. Coming in at number 10, we have The Batman. Do we really need more Batman movies? Matt Reeves proves that we do in this epic crime thriller that is more in common with Chinatown than it does with Aquaman. Reeves presents a Gotham City that's even grittier than Christopher Nolan's. But the film does not indulge in its depravity without a point. The Batman explores the cyclical nature of violence and allows Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne to understand the difference between vengeance and heroism. The performances by Paul Dano, Colin Farrell, and Zoe Kravitz breathe new life into some of the most iconic figures in Batman's rogues gallery. I'm vengeance. Next up at number 9 is Bullet Train. Brad Pitt isn't quite on Tom Cruise's level for the sheer number of action movies he's starred in, but he really isn't far off. His major offering in 2022 was Bullet Train, a movie with an ensemble cast, plenty of action, and possibly one of the strangest tones in movie history. An action comedy, Bullet Train featured a number of deadly assassins and operatives landing on the same train due to the turbulent machinations of a crime lord. Featuring hilarious cameos, a lot of luck, and some truly great fight scenes, Bullet Train is a memorably weird movie that most viewers should enjoy. Sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. <sighs> okay. At number eight, we have The Gray Man. Who doesn't love a movie about the corruption of the CIA? It's a face-off between Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, who dons a very intense mustache as his character tries to track down his former colleague. The Gray Man is based on a 2009 novel of the same name and was directed by the Russo brothers, who are most notably remembered for their work in the MCU. This film is jam-packed with action and guns and increases the scale of the spy espionage action the Russo perfected on Captain America, the Winter Soldier. The Gray Man is the first in what is planned as a long-running action franchise for Netflix. Boy, I got an urgent locate and destroy. That could be fun. The man's got some street cred. Coming in at number 7 is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Michelle Yeoh shines brightly in this action-filled movie, which was one of the most talked about of 2022. The movie is separated into three parts, and Everything Everywhere All at Once pace is impeccable. It's filled with a great cast and incredible imaginative action choreography. This movie should seem absurd on paper. But everyone involved gives it a true heart showing that action movies and emotional dramas do not need to be mutually exclusive genres. The movie broke through with audiences, critics, and even Oscar voters as it went on to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Next up at number 6 is The Northman. From the brilliant mind of Robert Eggers comes this brutal, action-packed, and beautifully authentic, gritty Viking revenge flick. It delivers some of the best action scenes of the year. Filled to the brim with exhilarating, well-shot, and incredibly brutal action scenes, The Northman quickly became of the best revenge flicks of recent years, mostly due to the brilliant action scenes especially the phenomenal Viking assault portrayed as a one-take action shot. The film is elevated by Alexander Skarsgård's exceptional performance as the lead role, selling every action scene with his beastly physicality. I'm his At number 5, we have The Woman King. 
there can be no doubt that action cinema often follows formulas and templates. This isn't something to be ashamed of or to hide, but rather something to celebrate when something comes along and plays all those notes with a new energy and flavor. The Woman King feels like a Shaw Brothers Shaolin Temple film meets a highly satisfying revisionist history epic a la Braveheart or The Patriot, only it's entirely black women as the heroic warriors. A 65-year-old Viola Davis shames Liam Neeson and all other dad action heroes with her powerful and moving transformation into an action star. Gina prince Bidewood, director, and Los Anna Lynch, supporting actress, both finally click for me here as stars to watch out for. The Woman King satisfies an audience hungry for action, and does so from the vital perspective of black women. Fight, or we die. Coming in at number four is Ambulance. The end product of any given Michael Bay film may or may not fully click with me, but I've always adored his aesthetics. Ambulance manages to be one of the best films of Michael Bay's formidable career and employs the greatest action ever committed to film to date utilizing drone photography. Roberto De Angelis is the cinematographer here. That it takes those incredible aesthetics and also brings some of the most jaw-dropping action moments of the year and then layers incredible performances from its leads and meaningful character and emotion from them as well? There's no doubt Ambulance is an incredible achievement that deserves to be seen by a wider audience. Hell, it's also angry at our healthcare system in a gloriously righteous way as a cherry on top. Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now! Next up at number three is Prey. Prey was one of the surprise hits of 2022. Not only was it a Predator movie, none of which has been massively beloved since the original, but it was also one that was released exclusively on Disney+. This made many suspect that the gore of previous entries would be toned down or the budget would be too small to make an impact. All of these assumptions were proven incorrect, and the movie was a roaring success. It features Amber Midhunter as Nehru, a young Comanche warrior who runs into an early predator while attempting to become a hunter for her tribe. Everything about the movie, from the script to the cinematography, worked perfectly and made this an easy choice as one of the very best action movies of 2022. At number 2, we have Top Gun, Maverick. An obvious case for one of the best 2022 action movies is Top Gun, Maverick. Not only is this the highest grossing movie of the entire year, not to mention one of the favorites for best picture at the Oscars, but it also contains some of the most thrilling action sequences in the history of cinema. Maverick's return to teaching at the Top Gun Academy begins with the thrilling test flight that almost takes him out of this world and ends with his intense aerial dogfight battles against the enemy, which were the epitome of what action scenes should be and should do to an audience. No movie released in 2022 so perfectly fits the definition of edge-of-your-seat thrills quite like this one. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Basic Fighter Maneuvers. And finally, coming in at number one, we have RRR. While Indian cinema has often been the subject of comedy and light-hearted humor over seriously excellent works of cinema, RRR has blended everything that has made Indian cinema great over the years with an epic style that created a huge and tonally unique piece of filmmaking. Set in the 1920s, RRR is a three-hour epic that features a fictional friendship between two real-life Indian revolutionaries. Featuring a lot of tigers, musical numbers, incredible action sequences, and an insane title, RRR stands for Ridiculous Riveting Rampage. This movie is an incredible watch. And there you have it, folks, 
Our Top 10 Action Movies of 2022 Which movie are you most excited to see? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more movie news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.